hey y'all welcome back to my channel i look so crazy right now when i think about you i think about you fit myself to you cause you know i want you babe and i would do anything damn ty you going crazy they tell you to and i'ma cut out their hand today i'm doing a sleek bun on natural hair which is straightened right now it's like old straightened hair like it needs to be washed now but we're gonna get another style out of this so yeah i'm going to go back and straighten some parts of my hair just so that it can lay as flat as it can all right so i already got my middle part so now i'm gonna make two sections in the front There's one section, and I'm gonna just clip these away real quick. Now, y'all, I gotta be to work in like an hour, so I'm trying to move fast. <laughs> and then you just make another one over here. So this is basically just like a fast way, but it's still gonna be sleek and bomb, sis, okay? All right, so those two pieces out the way. So basically you're gonna have these two side pieces and then you have the back. Hopefully that makes sense. So now we're gonna take this back section and split it into two, so. Hopefully y'all can see close. Basically into two like this. Keep them in there. Gonna put this top section clip in a ponytail. I look crazy. <laughs> okay. So now we're just working with this back section right here. You can go back over with the fire if you need to. Honestly, for this hairstyle, for the sleekest look, I would use the got to be spray throughout my whole head, but I don't have time to do this and use the blow dryer. So I'm just gonna actually use a gel to help slick my hair down. And then I'll just spray that occasionally. So instead, I'm going to use Eco Styler Gel to help slip my hair down. Now with straight hair, the Eco Styler Gel might make your hair revert back to curly just a little bit. But I would prefer the got to be anyway. But it's okay, we're going to make it work. So I just got some gel. Put it back here. Y'all probably can't even see, but my God. And I'm taking my hard brush and just brushing this back section. Just like that super simple and then on top of that I'm just gonna put just a little bit of this spray and I'm gonna take my comb and just comb through that spray to distribute it and I'm basically just gonna repeat that process throughout my whole head so as you can see I am using big sections and that's only because I don't have a lot of time. But this method is also effective if you are in a rush or just need a quick little sleek little bun. So some more gel. And I'm putting this on the whole back section. So let's see. So just put all that gel in the back. Like that. Take the brush again. Brush. 
I wish I had a better way to record this, honestly, but it's okay. All right, so just like the first section, after we brush that gel through, we're just gonna take a little bit of this got to be spray and just spread it. Comb through. Just like that. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and put this back section into a ponytail and then just add these two. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Just so I can go ahead and sit in my wool in place. Hopefully, I'm not moving too fast for y'all, okay? So I just split the back section in two, added gel and got to be spray, brushed it and combed it. And now it's ready to go into a ponytail. That's the back section. And then once that's in a ponytail, I go back in with more just to help it mold and stay down. So. That's that one. Okay, so now we just have these two sections left. So I'm gonna start with this one over here. So again, like the back section, if you need to go back over it, you can. This is the front of the hair, so. I like that to be more slick. It's pretty straight already. I'm still just gonna go over some pieces. And especially this top part, near your part, make sure that is slick, okay? Because that is the top of the ponytail. So it should be the most slick. So normally I would split the whole section into like four different sections and really slick it and mold it like really good. But today I'm just going to do it as one section together. So let's see how this works out. Um, I'm going to brush out my baby hairs before I slick it back. Just so they're not hard to take out when I'm ready to do them. So I say that's, that's a good amount of baby hairs. Okay. So now I'm taking more Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to put that on the whole section. And I used a good amount since this is a pretty big section to do at one time. So now I'm brushing this section down just with the gel. Like I said, my baby hairs are already out. Hmm, do I want side brands? Hmm, sure. Okay. And yes, girl, you just keep brushing, brushing, brushing. You can add as much gel as you would like. Um, or how much your hair needs to help it stay down. Okay, when you're done brushing through this section, again, you can take some got to be spray and just spray it a little bit on the section, especially here to help with the flyaways and also to help mold this section down. So, now the section is done, super slick, you see it, okay? So, I'm actually going to put these two sections in their own ponytail holders. So, I'm going to take this hair tie, and now that this section is done and molded, I'm going to add it into the back section. All 
All right, so this section is all slick down and it's added into the back section. So now we only have this side to work on. So once again, we're just taking out the baby hairs. I don't really like baby hairs right here, but it be coming out anyway, so might as well. And yeah, we're just gonna repeat the same process from this side over here. Your arms be hurting when you're doing a slip back. Like, <sighs> okay, so I finished slicking my ponytail. You see the slickness, period. So here's how it's looking in the back. Hopefully y'all can see. So I'm going to go in with the got to be spray and just spray it all around, just the whole ponytail. And you can blow dry it and put the scarf and let it sit for a little bit. Or you could just leave it out. Actually, before I do the baby hairs, I'm going to go ahead and put this section in the back into a bun. So you can tease it to make it more thick, but I'm not doing that today. I just wrapped it up. Into a tiny little bun. <laughs> it really is so small. Then just put the hair tie. And here's my little butt. Okay. Super cute, super simple. Kind of messy. So, yeah. Now it's time for the edges. So, I'm taking more Eco Style Gel and I'm just going to put that on my edges. And then on top of the Eco Solar Gel, I put my She Is Bomb Edge Control. So I kind of mix two together. Um, it's just what works best for my hair. And I really do recommend this edge control. It's the best. So I'm just going to put this on top. And I didn't put a lot of this edge control because I don't want too much product on my edges but just enough so I'm using my camera and not my mirror so hopefully I still blank per usual so yeah I'm just going to use a comb sometimes I use a toothbrush but the combs help me really move my edges where I want them to go and I do them differently all the time so depends how I'm feeling yeah, I can't do this. I thought I could do it, but I can't. So I'm gonna do my edges and come back. Okay, so this is how my edges turned out. Super duper cute. It's like that messy curly look and I love it. So this is how it looks in the back. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I know. I could have recorded better, but this setup is what worked best for me for right now. But I think I blanked. And I've been wanting to do a hair video for a long time and I finally did it. So yes, like, comment, and subscribe. When I think about you, I think about myself to you.